A video by Black Unicorn fan fictions kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. Wyan stepped out of the bathroom wearing her expensive bathrobe. The warmth of the bath had relaxed her after a grueling day at work. As she entered in her bedroom, her knees nearly stopped. He was sitting casually on her bed, deep in his hands. His dark eyes locked on hers without thinking she bolted towards the door. But before her hand could even touch the doorknob, he moved faster. He grabbed her from the behind and slammed her against the wall, pinning her with her face pressed on the cold surface. Your brother Jake took five million from me. If that money isn't back in my hands by Monday, I'll come back. And trust me, Wyan, you won't like what happens next. I don't show mercy twice. Terror surged through her veins as his grip tightened, the cold metal of beep brushing against her back. He leaned closer to her ear. Though I have to admit, you are quite the distraction, standing here all flustered in just a bathrobe. He pegged her neck and left. Wyan exhaled heavily. My kidneys lose their control in these kind of situations. She went to pee. Two days later. I am walking back to home. My stepbrother Jake isn't attending my calls. Why should I suffer because of him? Let me give you some unnecessary information. Jungkook is a mafia. We used to date, but I broke up with him. Because of his angry bird beaches. According to him... The breakup was one-sided because he hasn't accepted it. Jungkook's logic. It's Monday today. I'm sure he's waiting for me in my apartment. With fork and knife. He will chew me alive. I should stay at one of my friend's apartment. A car stopped near Wyan and some men in black picked her up and started putting her in the car's trunk. Hey, I will sit quietly on the back seat. She screamed. They put her in the car's trunk. No manners. Jungkook. International playboy. I was brought inside by Jungkook's men. As soon as I saw him, my nostrils got widened. He is in a wedding suit. Oh my, I missed you. He hugged her. They brought me here by putting me in a car's trunk. I am not deaf, baby hippo. I asked them to make you sit on the most comfortable seat. Everyone has their own preferences. I couldn't contact Jake. It's okay. Can I go now? How am I looking? Good. Getting married? Yes. Tomorrow. I'm just checking the suit. I faked a smile. But he just scratched the wounds of my spinal cord. Who is that unlucky girl? She... Never mind. I don't care. Hope she'll be able to tolerate you. Bye. I was about to leave but he held my arm and spun me around and made me sit on the couch and pointed a patila on my forehead. Are you insane? You always complain that I don't ask for consent which turns you off. Now, Miss Wyan, will you marry me? Are you yes or yes? This is not how you pay back five million. Jungkook, what? Let me speak. You can't talk to your future husband in this tone. She rolled her eyes. Are you turned on? What? I asked for your consent. You are threatening me. I like the style. Since the day I started asking for consent from people like this, my life became easy raised her eyebrows. What kind of consent are you talking about? And from whom? He knelt down and leaned closer to her. My assistant. She was so good. I'm about to cry. It hurts. I don't care. Sir, wedding gown is here. Oh, Miss Wyan. He bowed down. Good evening. I am Min Alex, Joan Jungkook's assistant. Wyan burst out laughing. Your taste changed, Jungkook. Trying something new? JK poked his inner cheek with his tongue. You almost cried after listening. I mean, Alex is hot, no doubt. Mr. John was right. You just look innocent. There is a pro version of German inside you. I... Wedding gown is here. Alex, wear it. I'm leaving. Babe, stop being childish. 
no one is being more childish than you who proposed like this sir you should try the boring way gave him a ring he stood on one knee when i could have made this a business deal but i am being nice say yes or the next proposal comes with a non negotiable contract forwarded a ring sir she looks abnormal i would have jumped on you after listening to this you can try another dialogue okay you know i am not a patient type so let's make this easy marry me or i'll start planning a wedding you won't even know about i think you already did that oh you are intelligent alex started clapping and asked everyone else to clap congratulations i haven't said yes yet jungkook towered over her and clenched his jaw when i i didn't say no either forwarded her hand priest will be there early in the morning have a nice sleep he left 1 am i came downstairs without making a noise i grabbed the door knob of the main door suddenly someone spoke behind me are you lost baby girl how does he know that i was watching 365 days just now you still use my netflix account i may i know where are you going just checking the pollution outside he back hugged her or running away you smell good changing the topic come you can sniff me whole night held her hand and took her to his room next day sir think again wine walked down the aisle i guess it's too late now i will go back jungkook took her hands in his and pecked her forehead you are looking beautiful jhootha i wish my parents were here should i beep them too they are in heaven oh long distance don't worry you can treat me like your family he grabbed jungkook's shoulders if you will hurt her i will jungkook kept a beep on alex's forehead what i will feel bad please don't priest cuffed i will never hurt her now move aside beach wine you can still say no i'm here with you why didn't you say that yesterday by the way no it's fine i can handle him he raised his eyebrows and smirked he sure wine blushed priest cuffed again alex gave a cuff syrup to him you may start now the man she had once run from afraid of his anger and the intensity of his love was now the man she was bahut zyada english She smiled softly as she spoke her vows. I vow to stand by you, to stop running, and to trust that you'll be there when I need you. I promise to love you, even when it scares me. Wan realized that love wasn't about escaping heartbreak. It was about finding the one who made the risk worth it. And with him, she felt truly safe for the first time in a long time. I vow to protect you from everything except maybe my bad temper when you steal my banana milk. You are stuck with me now, Wyan, and I'm not going to let you forget how lucky you are. I vow to be always be by your side and to make sure you never get enough sleep because priest coughed. Toba toba sara mood kharab kar diya. You haven't taken the cough syrup? JK leaned closer to Wyan. You better wear a mask or sanitize your lips. Shut up. Wan wiped her fake tears. So sweet you are. As soon as they stepped into their room, the weight of the day finally hit Wan. She kicked off her heels and sighed in relief, only to catch JK's amused gaze. What? He chuckled, leaning casually against the door frame. 
His tie already loosened. I just married the only woman who can stand up to me without flinching. And still complaining about the high heels? It's called balance. Speaking of balance, he pulled her closer. I think we need to settle our debt from earlier. Meanwhile, we will be able to sleep properly today, cutie patootie. We hear beep shots from neighboring apartment daily. I asked him to use silence around beeps in future. What's that sound? He got married today. Is he trying to save the rabbit species from getting endangered? So thoughtful. Call the zoo!